Welcome with us today. We have uh, two of our voice faculty. We have Dr. William Kohler and Dr. Hope Kohler uh, from the WVU School of Music to talk with us about the audition process and getting ready uh, for WVU School of Music. Uh, so welcome to you both. Thank, Thank you. Uh, so if we could just to start off, if you tell us a little bit about the voice studio, uh, the faculty and what students um, get to experience through the studio. I can talk to the, that just a little bit. I'm, as, as uh, James pointed out, I'm Dr. Hope Kohler. I'm coordinator of the voice area. Um, our voice area is a very exciting place. Uh, we have, obviously you have a voice lesson every week. In addition to that, you would also be in studio class with your teacher every week with all the people who study with your teacher. And then a third thing we do during the week is voice recital hour. So you would be with all of the people who are studying voice in all of the studios, we come together and have a more formal recital. Um, and that's another opportunity for, for our students to perform. In addition to those activities, there's also a very vibrant and active opera program. So in our opera program, you will find that there is a, a fully staged production every year, but there's also uh, opportunities for scenes programs and there's also what we call opera on wheels which goes out and presents operas in schools in the area or does it here and brings the schools into here um, so we have a very busy and active opera program many of our students uh, also are in the music theater program so that's a very active program as well and there are lots of opportunities to perform in musical theater so there's just a lot going on in our opera program or in our voice program and um, we are excited to have you here with us so. if i can add one thing about the performance at um, opportunities for opera as a, a young singer um, you wouldn't want to have a huge role because it would be too difficult for you to prepare but there are lots of opportunities for smaller roles and we don't have a lot of graduate students here so you could actually get on stage as a young singer and that's that's a really uh, that's an uncommon app opportunity um, uh, for some universities so that's something that we like to really highlight that as a young singer if you're good you can get small roles you can get a taste as dr kohler says in opera scenes but you could also find yourself on stage in a regular uh, staged show costume show in a smaller role and so that's a great opportunity as well uh, as students are preparing for the audition process, we of course have the audition webpage which lists all of our audition requirements and we have our video upload link there as well as the School of Music application where they're going to register for that uh, audition and interview experience. Um, what advice might you have for students as they prepare to audition for a college uh, and what advice might you have as they get ready to actually meet with the faculty? Um, I have a couple of things and I know Dr. Kohler will also have a couple of things that he wants to say but um, first of all, I would make sure as you're going through your audition process, you'll discover that different schools have different requirements for, um, for their um, audition process. And so if you are unsure about what the requirements are, please feel free to email one of us. You can email me or any member of the voice faculty to find out what the requirements are. Um, they're pretty simple. I mean, pretty straightforward, I'd rather, for undergraduates. Um, so we're happy to talk to you about that and answer any questions you might have. Just want you to know that we're available for that if you do have questions. Um, otherwise, when you're preparing your music, I would make sure that you know exactly what you're singing about so that you can not only show us the beauty of your voice, which is what we're really interested in, but also your communication skills so you can tell us the story of the song that you're singing. That's very, very important to us that you're able to communicate with us and, and that you feel confident enough to communicate with us. Um, as far as, as um, other things go, you know, we like to see that you are well dressed or, you know, you don't have to be fancy, but that you're, that you look nice and professional. Um, that helps us to know that you prepared, you know, for this moment. It wasn't just like a last minute thought, oh, let me go sing an audition, but I actually have been preparing for this and I, I knew what I was going to wear. I knew what I was going to sing. I knew I was going to present myself. And that actually tells us a lot about you as a performer too. So those kinds of things, you know, confidence, 
is very important. And even if you're feeling a little nervous, which everybody does when they audition, let's face it, um, if you can smile through that uh, nervousness and you know be be friendly with us and expect us to be friendly with you because we're a friendly bunch of people, um, then I think you will do much better in your audition. Mm -hmm. So I, I agree totally. And I have just two things to add to that. Um, remember, when you audition for us, we want you to succeed. We want you to do the best that you can. We will look, we'll read between the lines. If you make a boo-boo, we'll think, oh, that's just a boo-boo because of nerves. Don't worry about that. And really endeavor to sing things that you know well and love because we want you to succeed. Don't try to guess what we might like to see. Don't try to guess that we, we will be impressed by you singing something that you really can't sing, that's too advanced, that maybe a 30-year-old should be singing. Just do what you can do well and have fun and enjoy and sell the story because that's how we know that you have potential. The other thing, if you're doing something that's too hard for you or that you haven't really learned yet, we really can't guess what how great you might be. And we really want you. I mean, it helps us. We want the best singers here. So if you can show us how good you are, even on the very simplest song, the simplest idea, the simplest text, the simplest acting, um, that will help us know what your potential might be. And then one other thing, I urge you, and get help, get help with this, I urge you to have what I call good music hygiene. And that just means... You really want to sing the right notes, the right rhythm, the right words, uh, because chances are, you may not believe this, but chances are everything that all of you sing, we already know. We may even have memorized. We may know everything by heart. And so if you make a boo-boo or if you fake a melody or if you fake a line, we probably will know. That doesn't mean you won't get nervous and make a mistake, but really take Take heart and work as well as you can and get someone to help you and say, is that the right melody? Is that the right counting? Is that the right rhythm? Because once all of that is solid, then you're free to do the best you can do. So those two things are really important. And some people underprepare and think, oh, this is just a video. I can, I can make the video over and over and over. But it really doesn't help. So really do your best to have music hygiene first. Okay. And as you mentioned, the um, auditions are being submitted through video this year. There will be a, a synchronous component where students are going to be meeting with faculty, whether that's uh, through Zoom or whether that's uh, on campus here, possibly later in the spring, um, where they'll be uh, more so interviewed by the faculty. What types of questions might you have for students who are, who are coming in and um, things you might ask to get to know them and to make sure it's the right fit for them? We will definitely want to know why you want to pursue whichever major you're in pursuit of. So if you want, for example, to be in music performance, we're going to want to know why, why is that what you want to do? If you're in music education, why do you want to be a music educator or a music therapist? What is it that draws you to that particular profession? Um, we want to know what your passion is and what actually moves you um, to do the thing you're doing. Um, we may want to know a little bit about your music background in terms of how much um, you understand this construction of music. Have you had piano lessons? Have you studied any theory? And these are not questions that are designed to eliminate you from the program, but rather just to help us to know how we can best help you and, and how, to, how to guarantee as much as possible uh, your chances of success. Mm -hmm. And if I can amplify on that, we sort of get scared when people give reasons that don't make sense to us. So if someone comes and says, uh, I want to be a music educator, I want to teach, I want to teach high school. And, and we say, why is that? And, they, and you say, because I think you can make lots of money. <laughs> uh, I don't think that's going to work so well. Or, or even worse, because that's what my parents want me to do. I don't really want to do it, but my parents want, to, want me to do that. We're going to go, uh, we might accept this person. You might be very acceptable, but we think that you won't have very much fun. 
and you won't be able to work hard because it's not really what you want to do and so we might not see you get to graduation and so we're, we're not looking for that we want you to be passionate and in love with whatever type of music you do and and that will help you because it's hard work and so if you don't love it we 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 want you to to really consider if this is the right path for you and, and kind of on that, um, the topic of program and uh, fit, um, students who are looking to pursue uh, opportunities with the School Music Voice program and might want a, a sample lesson, how would they go about uh, arranging that? That's very easy. Just email us, anyone or all of us. And um, I really encourage a student, if you haven't had a lesson with any of us before, have a lesson with all of us, you know, figure out um, where you feel the most comfortable, who, who it is you want to work with that you feel like you can get the most benefit, um, you know, which studio feels the most comfortable to you, where do you feel like you fit? Because let's face it, it's a, it's a big commitment. When you go to college, you know, you're talking about four years at a minimum, <laughs> maybe a little longer for most of us. Um, and you're going to be studying with that teacher in a very, um, you know, one-on-one sort of a way. It becomes a very close relationship. So you want to make sure that that relationship is a healthy one and a happy one for both you and, and the teacher. You want to be sure that this teacher respects you and you want to feel like you can also respect the teacher um, and that you can have fun together and still maintain that, you know, that respect for one another. Um, there should be, in my opinion, you know, in a lesson, there should be a lot of laughter but also a lot of learning. So your teacher needs to be able to say to you, okay, that didn't work very well. Let's figure out a different way to do it that will work better. Um, and, and you can take that kind of guidance without feeling um, threatened in any way. And, and if you can't feel you know, comfortable enough to take that kind of guidance, you probably won't succeed very well in that studio. So I think it's important to be with a teacher that you feel safe with in other words and and that you can grow and you don't you're not afraid to make a mistake and because we can't ever learn anything if we don't make mistakes i mean mistakes are how we learn so it's important that you feel safe to make a mistake in front of your teacher i think mm -hmm. yeah. anything else um, that you'd like for students to know about the voice studio dr fuller um actually i th i think we I, I talked about uh, most of what I what I look for and the way I want you to think about preparation. Maybe one thing about what Dr. Kohler was just saying, the sample lessons, my opinion, it's just my opinion, but my opinion is if you're auditioning for other schools and you can't get a free sample lesson, you should run away <laughs> because to me that proves that they're not really looking for students, they're really not interested in you they can't afford to take a little bit of their time and spend it with you to see if you might be a match for them. Because when I, when I uh, have students and give them sample lessons or work with them, I'm also looking uh, if, to see if I can be comfortable with that person too. So it's a two-way street. It's a, it's a very collaborative uh, environment, the one-on-one. -on -one. And so uh, really take, take it to heart, be a consumer and stick up for yourself and try to get the best university experience that you can through all these these uh, these possible ways. Absolutely. Always remember when when you're auditioning for us, we're also auditioning for you. Um, you know, it really, really is a two way street. You we may think you're great and you may think, OK, well, maybe I'm not there very comfortable or vice versa you know so we really are um in a collaborative situation so remember that you have power in this situation you're not you're not just looking to be accepted you're also looking to accept or not what you see when you come here so it's very important to remember that you're in that position of control and power also when you're here um the other thing i would say is just don't be afraid to contact us you know, I'm always happy to take an email or even a phone call, although right now that's a little harder because we're not in the office. So calling my office phone, you won't get an answer. Um, but I'm, I'm very happy to, you know, have a Zoom meeting with somebody, for example, if they want to just talk to me about things or obviously a sample lesson as well. But email me, ask me, talk to me, or I think you find that true of any of the voice faculty that you are interested in talking to.
Yeah, for sure. It's true of me. So. Well, thank you both so much for meeting with us today and providing such great information. And uh, for all you students out there, we look forward to hearing your work. Thank you. Thank you.